This airplane, the DC-930, is 46 years old. So it's older than me. It was flying in the air before I was born. I'm so excited to have a last chance to fly on one of these so rare classic airplanes. Oh, love the lights coming up. Oil gauges, temperatures, that are hydraulic. And we have a weather radar. Feel your cross feet. This is for pressurization. Uh, we're gonna close the cargo door now. Oh, the switch is down here. Miles is not answering. Flies are everywhere now. Wow. A huge swamp of flies coming in. Yeah. Wow. Suddenly they just came like that. Yeah. Lucky our doors are closed. Windows yeah. closed. How long do you think the DC-9 can remain to fly uh, active in the fleet? Aviation is a small world. Eight years ago, I flew with Captain George on a DC-9 10 series in Kenya. And now I'm back today flying with Captain George again on a DC-9 30 cargo to Tanzania today. Come on the DC-930 freighter uh, to Mwanza and it's beautiful weather today. Excellent day for flying. We check our temperature probe, outside air temperature probe. Check there's no obstruction. The two landing uh, taxi lights. One is for dim and one is bright. A static port that is clear, it's not taped over. Tire conditions, pretty good. Check our brakes, all the piping looks good. Up in here, we check our Inside the wheel assembly, where the landing gear retracts, that there's nothing loose or anything missing. And uh, this compartment is interesting because uh, there's a time we had an incident where they found a stowaway. A uh, young man who had crept in here at a night. A stowaway inside? Uh, yes, was found Oh, a young man went inside? Yes. Oh, they can hide inside? You can just stay uh, out. Right here? Yeah. Very right. small? It's a, uh, yes. Very tiny hole? Very tiny hole. Wow. So, so luckily the security found him before departure. The fuel panel is open. We'll come and take a look at that. So the engineer on duty will come and do the fueling. Okay, so we walk all the way, leading edge. Okay, we check our static ports. One, two, three, four, five, six, all intact. And one thing I love about the DC-9 wing is you can actually reach the control service like the ailerons. <laughs> wow, let me try. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, they're yeah. We, didn't, we didn't reach. It's like a Cessna. <laughs> yeah. You can reach the aileron. <laughs> the sound of the APU. Oh, uh, the APU started. The, uh, the co-pilot is on board. He ran. Uh, he's starting the APU. Okay. So you can start doing all the preparation within the aircraft. Oh, looks good. Alright, and they're just about to start loading the cargo. So these are general cargoes? Yeah, but it's this Oh, there's lots of boxes or small pieces here. Yeah. How many pallets do you have on the DC-9? On DC-9 I have six pallets. Right. Yes. So it's fully loaded, I can see yeah. all the way to the end. Yes. I just went inside the DC-9 fuselage, quite dark at the back. Now I'm just coming, walking out. There's a narrow passage between all the pallets here. This is a very complicated cockpit looking. Look at this. It's not as complicated as it looks. Uh, it's actually more advanced than the 727 because we don't have a flight engineer. Uh -huh. So it's just a two crew, two man crew aircraft and uh, it was very advanced for its time with a very functional autopilot which is right here okay yeah so, all the steam gauges and i'm so used to the EFIS. if it's okay so wow this is super complicated airplane man and <laughs> green as well the panel <laughs> with the basic flight instruments and uh, then we got the, our engine instruments uh, fuel gauges engine instruments right there we got oil, oil, oil gauges temperatures quantities and we've got our hydraulic system there, the knobs on that side, and then the instruments are duplicated on the right side. Okay, we have uh, two GPSs, uh, one and this one. 
Okay. And we have our weather radar combined the Chica screen, which you see when it's the airborne. Okay. Here we have the throttle quadrant, the throttles, speed brakes, uh, and a few other uh, knobs here. Which one is for the fuel cross feed, flap lever. This is for pressurization. These are our fuel levers on and off. Autopilot, and then the radio. So it's not as complicated as it looks. Then we have our generator switches there. Yeah, we are running on APU at the moment, as well power unit. We've got our start switches right there, the ignition system. Okay, seatbelt signs. This, this, this is easy, seatbelt signs. <laughs> <laughs> That's our warning caution lights. Ah, it's amazing. I love this panel. It's like, oh, I love the lights coming up. Yeah, and it's quite useful because it tells you exactly where to go in the emergency checklist. Okay, Sam, uh, today's flight from uh, Nairobi to Chomokinyara to Mwanza will be approximately 40 minutes. We'll be flying at 28,000 feet uh, westbound. And today, my colleague, uh, first officer here in Kakad. Good morning, uh, welcome. Okay, he's very happy to meet Sam. <laughs> yeah, welcome. <laughs> uh, my pleasure, my uh, pleasure flying with you. This is absolutely delightful excellent. to see how you guys flying machines like this, 46 yes. years old and going strong. All right, and uh, today we'll be doing about Mark 0.76 in the cruise. What's the fuel burn on this? The uh, fuel burn is approximately 7,000 pounds an hour. My name is Dan Khan, uh, the engineer for the flight today to Mwanza. Uh, we're gonna close the cargo door now. Let's do it. Yeah. Oh, the switch is down here. Yeah. Very different to 727. The two speed will be uh, one, 150. 150 set to my side. Set on the left. <laughs> Starting number two. Number two. The valve is open. Pressure is dropped. Yeah, oil pressure is here. Okay, yeah, fuel. Fuel on. Light up. And one. Fuel flow. Good morning again, Astro Cargo 025. Astro Cargo 025, good morning. Squawk 0530, continue back off. pretty long because the temperatures are getting a bit warm as we're going towards the afternoon so we prefer to do most of the departures very early in the morning or as early as possible and look for traffic over here uh, we're still on a uh, manual flight we haven't yet engaged the autopilot we're climbing through 25,600 feet at the moment and we're just crossing uh, the border between Kenya and Tanzania a position called uh, Parin so we're now trying to contact uh, Mwanza approach for further clearance. So far the flight is excellent, beautiful weather today. Clear all the way to Mwanza. Astro Cargo 025. Mwanza, good morning, Astro Cargo 025, how do you reach? 
let's get a bit closer. We're still 100 miles. One or 100 miles out. Okay, Miles is not answering. Yeah, so we'll try. We'll give them a bit of time. We called Dar es Salaam, uh, we didn't manage to get them, so we contacted Mwanza for clearance and they've cleared us down to uh, level 0820, so we'll uh, pre uh, prepare for our descent. Uh, we'll be coming in left base, uh, over the water, for uh, runway 12. Weather is good, visibility is better than uh, 10 kilometers. So, yeah, we'll start our descent now. Inside here we have the military parking area with the classic MiG-21s. Tanzania. How long do you think the DC-9 can remain to fly uh, active in the fleet? So these planes were built to last. Similar, you know, like to the DC-3s. Whoa! The only thing that uh, is regulations is what stops them from flying. Wow, amazing to hear. The yeah, built to last. Built or built to last. Strong. Very strong. strong. Yeah, yeah, this looks super complicated. It looks so complicated. <laughs> like a Russian space shuttle or illusion. Oh, no doubt. It looks like a Russian yeah. cockpit here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But we why love you love DC9? Why you love oh, it? We love it. It keeps you. It keeps you on. on what is it? On point. Hmm. You don't lose your flying skills. Yeah. This kind of aircraft. Starting the APU. We're leaving. Yes. We're going back to Nairobi. Voltage frequency. Voltage is good. Voltage battery is good. Battery is good. Frequency is good. So I'm going to put now. I'm going to connect it. Right on. Left on. Oh, the door is closing. Yeah, the door is closing. This come from the lake, this is the flies. Wow, suddenly they just came like that. Yeah. Lucky our doors are closed, windows yeah. closed. Right wow. inside. Look at the flies, yeah, crazy. Okay. Are you request taxi? The flies are everywhere now, wow. swamp of flies coming in for the lake. Yeah, boy, it's crazy. Check what's going on. 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 Check what's going
Alpha Astro Cargo 026, we're ready. Astro Cargo 026, surface wind 310 degrees on zero knots, runway 30, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, Astro Cargo 026. The bugs as they go into the engines through the bleed air system. But that phenomena is normally happens at night when you take off over the lake. Now you can see them on the windscreen. So luckily we are not uh, passenger aircraft. Otherwise you'd be having queries from the cabin. What's that smell? We engage the auto throttle. Your hand is the auto throttle. Your hand is the auto throttle. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back, Aaron. Thank you for us to come. On the line. Having fun today. Had a great flight with you, Captain George. Thank you, Sam. Very nice landing. You almost got it, you right? You almost got it. <laughs> yeah, you see it on the video. Thank I love you. flying classic airplanes, but I think today the best thing was the unexpected bug attack. Oh, and yeah. then In our wing screen is completely covered with bugs, but the captain's made it back. We can still see the runway at the end landing. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, what much. an experience. Love it. <laughs>